everyone, I am Kelly Edwards and this yoga class today is going to be a power yoga class. So uh, it's for those of us who have been practicing yoga for a, a bit of time, we're aware of the names of the poses, we understand how to get into them, and we are focusing more on strength when we get onto our mat. So our focus is going to be balancing today. So for class, you can have a strap, two blocks, and a blanket. And if you don't have blocks or a strap, you can feel free to use um, books or a scarf or towel instead. All right, so we're going to get started in an easy seated pose. So you can rest your hands somewhere in your lap. If you need to roll your shoulders a few times, you can. And then come into stillness with your shoulders away from your ears and the crown of your head lifting you tall. Go ahead and softly close your eyes and start to tune into your breath. And just checking in with how you're feeling today, physically, mentally, and emotionally. And if it's hard for you to focus in this moment, if there seems to be a lot going on for you, just keep your attention on your breath then. And let the breath move in and out of your nostrils. And Pull the breath down into your navel so that the breath has to go a bit longer and hopefully slower in order to reach that depth. So as we move through our practice today, our little mantra that I want us to have in the back of our mind is, I can do hard things. I can do hard things. And this doesn't mean that you are pushing yourself or forcing yourself, but that you at your baseline, at your foundation, you can do hard things doesn't have to be a struggle. You can do them with grace and with a calm, level head. So remind yourself of that as much as you need throughout today's class. I can do hard things with grace and ease. Let your crown sit you up a little bit taller, reaching to the sky. And let's take two more breath here. And gently start to blink your eyes open. You can roll your shoulders a few times, again, if that feels good for you, or dropping your chin and moving your neck around so your ears can go from side to side. Good. All right, we are actually going to start standing at the top of our mat, so I just want to get right into that heat. Please keep working with how your body is feeling today. So never forcing, never straining, but make sure that there feels like enough of a challenge and your breath is there to support you. Okay, so your blocks can be at the top of your mat and find yourself there in mountain pose. We're going to move through a few rounds of sun salutation just to warm up the body. So on your next inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. 
and exhale, step the feet back to plank pose. Now this first round, let's just hold our plank. So wrists are under the shoulders, press shoulders away from ears, lift the ribs and the navel. Imagine you're holding a tray of food on your back and the heels should be lifted over the balls of the feet. Really pull navel up to spine, take one more inhale and then exhale up and back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out the knees, sway through the hips. Take five breath here. Inhale, looking towards your hands. Exhale, step or maybe a little hop to the top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, twofold. Inhale, rise up, reaching to the sky, stretch the body. And exhale, mountain pose. Good. At the top, let's go again. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, back to plank. Again, this time just holding our plank a couple of breaths. Let's make sure that our alignment is good and we're feeling strong here before we add the vinyasa next time. So again, ribs and navel hugging up. Let's hold for one more inhale. And exhale, hips lift you back to dog. Five breath here, pedaling the knees, swaying through the hips moving if that feels good for you. Inhaling, looking forward. Exhale, step or a little hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, to full. Inhale, rise up, reach to the sky, stretch. Exhale, mountain. Again, inhaling, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway, tone the belly. Exhale, back to plank. Feel free to stay and hold this time, or on your next exhale, bend the elbows, lower chaturanga, all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, curl up, inhaling cobra, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Five breath, choosing to move here or stay still, up to you and how you're feeling. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, rise up, reach to the sky. And exhale, mountain. All right, at the top, let's go through some sun bees. So as you inhale, reach the arms up, sit down into chair pose. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, back to plank. Maybe stay or lower through a vinyasa. Back to dog. Inhaling, right leg reaches up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Left heel down, toes out about 45 for warrior one. Rising up, arms reach. Make sure your hips are pointing forward. Tone the belly. Next exhale, hands come down. Step the right foot back, plank. Inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Back to dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step left foot forward, warrior one, hips forward, back heel down. Inhale, arms reach, 
sink in as you exhale and hold. Next exhale, hands find the earth. Back to plank, take an inhale and exhale vinyasa. Back to dog, holding for five breaths. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, rise. Release the arms. All right, let's do that one more time with Sun B. So next, inhale, arms reach, sit down into chair. Tone the belly, exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway, exhale, plank and vinyasa. Maybe each time coming up a little bit higher in your cobra as the back body warms and feels ready for it. Keep checking in with your breath. Next inhale, right leg reaches back. Exhale, step the foot forward and rise up, warrior one. Inhaling, arms reach. Exhale to settle in. Exhaling, hands find the earth. Step back, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, stepping forward, warrior one. Rising up as you inhale, sinking in as you exhale. One more breath. And exhale, hands come down, plank and vinyasa. Hopefully you're feeling a little more heated. <laughs> Back into dog or rest in child's pose for five breaths. One more breath. Inhale, looking to the hands. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink the hips low. And exhale, rise, mountain. Release the arms. All right, blocks are at the top of the mat. Let's get into our flow. So hopefully again, feeling a bit warmer. Take a few moments in mountain pose at the top of the mat. Hands can come to prayer. Close your eyes. Take some nice deep breath. Check in with how you feel. Next inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, sink down into your chair pose. Now inhale, put some more weight onto your right foot and start to lift the left knee up. Exhale, left foot comes down, sink back into chair. And inhale, stand on the left leg, pull the right knee up. Exhale, sink into chair. One more to each side. Inhale to stand, pull navel up, knee squeezes in. Exhale, chair. Inhale, stand on left leg, pull navel up and in. Use the hip flexors to pull right leg up higher. And exhale, chair pose. Take an inhale here in chair. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling a halfway lift. And exhale, kick that left leg back. Pinky toe stays pointing down for supported warrior three. Hands can be on blocks. Take an inhalation, try to pull the heart more forward. 
And as you exhale, start to bend the right knee. Drop that left foot to the back of the mat. High lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, sink in. Maybe that left knee bends a little bit. Try to get that back heel above the ball of the foot. Hold for one more breath here. Now next exhale, bend the elbows out to the side, draw the shoulder blades down the back, and think of squeezing the elbows back behind you. As you inhale, reach the arms forward, round your upper back, think cat, and then exhale, cactus those arms, bringing the elbows back, pressing heart forward. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, arms reach forward, back squeezes back. And then exhale, cactus arms, heart pulls forward. Inhale, re-extend the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Plank pose and vinyasa. Finding downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling the knees a few times. Take two more breath here. Next inhale, looking forward. And exhale, step or hop, top of your mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale to stand. Good. Maybe a little shake. <laughs> You've got a lot of energy moving through you after that. Let it go. Back at mountain, the top of your mat second side. Next inhale, arms reach up. As you exhale, sit down into chair. Just once to each side. As you inhale, stand on the right leg. Pull the navel up, hip flexor up, knee lifts. Exhale, back into chair. Inhale, stand on left leg. Pull your right knee up. And exhale, back to chair. Hold for an inhalation. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling halfway. And exhale, right leg will kick back. Pinky toe stays pointing down, warrior three. Hands can be on the blocks. Pull your heart more forward. Take an inhale, kick through the right heel. And as you exhale, left knee slowly bends. Right foot finds the back of the mat. And rise up for a high lunge. Inhaling. And exhale, sink in. Now I'm bending my right knee a bit here to get that heel lifted. Make that same adjustment in your body if the heel is pressing back too much. Next exhale, elbows bend out to the side for those cactus arms, squeezing the shoulder blades and elbows back. Puff the heart forward and up. As you inhale, wrap the arms around forward, round the back, think cat. And then exhale, goal post, cactus arms opening, puff the heart. One more, inhale, reaching forward. And exhale, open up. Good, inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands come down, back to plank and vinyasa. Feel free to skip vinyasas at any point if you're getting too tired. And instead of dog, feel free to rest in child's pose. Let's take five breath here. Next inhale, looking forward. And exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, mountain to stand. All right, adding on a little bit. Come to the top of the mat, mountain pose. Toning the belly. Good posture set up in your mountain. And really now feel into the feet. 
So we're going to be balancing a little bit more. We want to keep a good connection to our foundation. So lift your toes up and bring more of your weight to the big toe mounds on the feet. And now bring some weight to the pinky toe mound. And now go back to the outer heel and then roll to inner heel. And notice how all of those actions change the feeling in the legs, the pelvis, maybe the low back even. So we wanna find a good uh, evenness between all four corners. So press into big toe, outer heel, pinky toe, inner heel. And that's a good foundation in the feet. Okay, tone the belly. Let's add on. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, sinking down into chair. Inhale, stand on the right leg, lift the left knee. And now exhale, kick the hands and the foot forward. Inhale, bend the knee, arms reach up. Exhale, sink back into chair. Inhale, standing on left leg, right knee comes up. Exhale, kick through the hands and the foot. Inhale, right knee bends, arms reach. Exhale, sit down into chair. Let's do that once more each side. Inhale, standing on right, left knee lifts. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, chair. Inhale, stand on left leg, right knee up. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, chair pose. Beautiful, hold for an inhale. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, left leg sweeps up and back, warrior three. Again, hands can be on the ground or the blocks. Tone your belly. As you inhale, pull your heart a bit more forward. Now see if you can lift one hand, maybe both off of the block, and balance here in warrior three. Slowly start to bend the right knee as you inhale. Exhale, left foot find slowly the back of the mat. Inhale, arms reach for high lunge. Exhale, elbows bend out to the side, goal post arms. Inhale, swing the arms forward, round the shoulders back. Exhale, open, goal post. Inhale, extend, and arc. One more time. And in goal post arms. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Now as you exhale, drop the heart towards that front knee, reach the arms out in front of you, and press more weight into that right foot. See if you can roll onto the left big toe. And then hands come down, step that right foot back, plank pose, inhale, and exhale, vinyasa. Four breath in your down dog. Inhale, looking towards your hands. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, to rise. Mountain pose. Next side, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, sink into chair. Once to each side, inhale, stand on left leg, pull right knee up. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, back to chair. Inhale, standing on right leg, left knee comes up. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, chair. Hold for the inhale. And exhale to fold. Inhaling halfway. And exhale, right foot is going to sweep back. Warrior three. Pinky toe pointing down. Tone your belly. 
try to pull your heart more forward. Maybe take your hands up off of the blocks and balance in warrior three pose. As you take your next inhale, start to bend the left knee. Slowly start to drop the right foot down. Exhale, the foot finds the back of the mat. Inhaling, high lunge. Exhale, cactus, goal post arms. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, round the upper back. Exhale, goal post. Inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, goal post. One more time with your breath. Now inhale, reach the arms up. Tone the belly as you exhale, start to drop the heart forward. Press more weight into your left foot. Lean like someone's grabbing your hands at the top of the mat and try to get on the big toe of that right foot. Hands come down. Oh yeah, step back, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Downward facing dog or resting in child for four breaths. Last breath here. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, twofold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, to stand. Good. Maybe a little shake. <sighs> Grab some water if you need, just a quick little sip. And we're gonna go into the flow once again. So, Last time through on each side, we're gonna be combining a couple more things and balancing more as we flow. So this is another way to add on. If you need to stay with our first two options, again, do what works best for you in this moment. So at the top of the mat, mountain pose. Nice deep breath and remind yourself, I can do hard things with grace and ease. Next inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sink into chair. Inhale, stand on the right leg, lift the left knee up. Exhale, extend through the arms and leg. Inhale, knee bends. Exhale, back to chair. Inhale, standing on left leg, right knee comes up. Exhale, kick through. Inhale, bend, exhale to chair. All right, this time, inhale, standing on right leg, bring left knee up. Exhale, kick through the arms and the leg. Keep the leg up, reach the arms up. Tone the belly. Now slowly start to sweep and swing that left leg back. Drop the heart, hands can come to prayer for warrior three. Earthen blocks are there for you if needed. Hold here for two more breath, balancing. Keep that right knee soft, tone the belly. As you take your next inhale, start to bend the right knee. Exhale, left foot gets to the back of the mat. Inhale, high lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, goal post or cactus arms. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, round the back. Exhale, goal post. One more time. Now inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, tone the belly. As you exhale, start to drop the heart forward. Press into that right foot, maybe roll onto the left big toe or root down into that right foot to lift up warrior three. Tone the belly. Slowly start to lift the shoulders up over the hips. Keep that left foot hugging up and in, up and in. And release the left foot next to the right. Arms drop, mountain. Whew. Notice what that feels like in your body. 
And let's do a vinyasa. So next inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plank and vinyasa. Five breath in dog or rest in child's pose. Inhale, looking forward. And exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, to fold. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, mountain. All right, top of the mat, mountain pose. Last time through. So as you inhale, arms reach up. Tone the belly. Exhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Inhale, stand on the left leg, pull the right knee up. Now exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, back to chair. Inhale, stand on right leg, left knee lifts. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Back to chair, exhale. All right, inhale, left leg standing, right knee comes up. Exhale, kick through the arms and the leg. Keep the leg out, reach the arms back up. Tone the belly. Slowly start to drop that right leg. Swing it back and up. Hands can come to prayer, warrior three. Hold here for just two more breath. Toning belly, blocks are there if you need them. Slowly start to bend the left knee. As you exhale, the right foot finds the back of the mat. Inhaling, high lunge. Exhale, elbows bend out, goal post arms. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, round the back. Exhale, goal post arms. One more time. Inhale, reach the arms up, tone the belly. As you exhale, drop the heart down towards the knee. Lift onto the big toe of that right foot, bringing more of your weight forward. And then to lift off, press down into that left foot to rise. Warrior three, flex the right foot, pinky toe pointing down. Tone the belly, start to lift the heart up. Shoulders stacking over your hips. Keep that right foot floating. And then release it. Mountain pose. And the arms can drop. Vinyasa. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, plank. And vinyasa. Enjoy three breath in downward facing dog. Now next inhale, shift yourself forward into plank pose, shoulders over your wrists. And as you exhale, drop the heels down to the left and open up for a side plank. Right arm reaching up to the sky. Your right foot can be in front of your left or stack the feet at the back of the mat. Press your left shoulder blade down your back. Tone your belly. Exhale, revolve back to plank pose. Take an inhalation here, set up your alignment once again. And then as you exhale, heels drop down to the right. Open the heart up, left arm reaching. Choose what you would like to do with the feet and right shoulder blade pressing down towards your hip. Pull navel up and in. One more inhale. And exhale, 
Left hand comes down, roll back to plank, lower to your knees, and rest back in a child's pose. Two more breaths. And go ahead and sit yourself up. Take your legs out from underneath you and sit on your bottom. You can scooch a little bit towards the front of the mat. So sitting up tall on your sit bones, roll your shoulders away from your ears, pull your navel up and in. Grab behind the backs of the thighs. You can walk your feet in a little bit. Imagine that there is a magnet between your heart and your knees. So this space constantly wants to be pulled together. You can lift the heels up, maybe leaning back a bit for boat. <laughs> so shins are trying to get up parallel to the earth. You can keep holding the knees for support. Keep lifting your heart up to your knees. And if you would like, your arms can reach forward to work the thighs some more. Hold for two more breaths. Feet come down. Open the knees for Baddha Konasana and take a forward fold here, dropping your head. Your elbows can gently press into your legs somewhere to help further that external rotation in the hip. Two more breaths. And rising up, help the knees come together. Let's do that again, sitting up nice and tall, lean back a little bit, lift the heels, arms can reach. And then this time bring the hands together and turn your upper body towards the left. So try to get your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. And then twist and look over the right, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And over to the left again. Shaking is good. <laughs> over to the right. Back to center. Hold for two more breaths. Feet come down. Knees open. Baddha Konasana forward fold. and sit up and go ahead and bring your feet to the mat your knees are bent pointing up towards the sky <sighs> shoulders away from the ears again thinking of the heart magnetized towards the knees so the heart is proud you can keep holding behind the backs of the legs or reach the arms out in front of you tone the belly up and in on your next exhale, think of tucking your tailbone underneath you, so pointing your tail to the backs of the knees, and you'll start to roll down the vertebrae. Take it very, very slow. And in the spot that you want to rush through, stay and hold. So I'm feeling very shaky right here. <laughs> and though it's difficult, I'm staying, because I know that shaking means I'm building strength. Take two more breaths in the spot that's difficult for you. And remember, I can do hard things with grace and ease. Slowly complete the roll down, releasing the rest of your back. And you can extend the arms and the legs for an elongation stretch. Let's go into a bridge pose. So bend the knees, plant the feet. Arms are down alongside the body. Reach down and make sure that you cannot tickle your heels so the feet and the fingers are away from one another. Wrap your shoulder blades underneath the back, starting to puff up your heart and pull your navel down towards your spine. On your next inhale, start to press into the feet, lift the hips up, 
and think long thighs. So imagine you're trying to point your knees to the top of your mat. Try not to squeeze your glutes excessively here. You should feel more in the thighs and the core. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, slowly roll down the vertebrae. Moving from upper, middle, and lower spine. And then dropping the knees from side to side. Or you can hug the knees in. And again, rocking from side to side here. All right, let's do one more. Planting the feet for bridge. Make sure the feet are away from the fingers enough. Wrap your shoulders underneath the back. Tone the belly. On your next inhale, root down to rise up. Not too much work in your glutes here, so they're softer. Feel free to stay in this bridge, working your alignment, or you can center your left foot a little bit more. Bend your right knee in towards your heart, and then extend your right leg up to the sky. Reach through the toes. Keep lifting the hips evenly, toning the belly. Right knee bends. Foot comes down a little bit center. Stay up, and the left knee will come in. The left leg goes straight. Bend the left knee. Release the foot back down. Normal stance in your bridge pose. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly rolling down the back body. Stay still for a moment once you land, and then you can drop the knees from side to side, windshield wipers. Hug your knees into your heart, rock a little left to right, and then move the knees around in circles to massage out your lower spine. And then let's finish with a happy baby pose. So opening the knees wide, grabbing hold behind the backs of the knees or the outer edges of the feet. And you're pulling the feet down as if you're trying to get the thighs flat to the side body. They're not gonna touch the ground. Your thighs won't actually get down to the ground, <laughs> but energetically that's where we're going with them. And again, maybe a little movement here is necessary or will feel better in your body. Take two more breath here. And hug your knees into your heart. Give yourself one final squeeze. And then as you exhale, release the legs, release the arms, and gather any props you might like for your Shavasana pose here. Take up space and just enjoy all the newness that you feel in the body at the end of your practice here. Nice deep breath. And follow the breath in and out of your nose. Remind yourself in this time, I can do hard things with grace and ease. It's really about your perspective and your breath. And so if we are breathing deeply, breathing into the belly, it helps to settle the nervous system and calm the mind. And then without the distractions of the worrisome mind, the mind that gives us all these situations that could go wrong, when the mind is calm and not thinking of those things, we can see reality as it truly is. We can see the truth without any extra input or opinions. So 
take just a couple more breath here, a few more moments for yourself in silence. I'll let you know when it's time to come up and end our class. Enjoy the remaining moments here. thoughts. Bring your attention back to your body and your breath. And slowly start to move yourself, reawakening here, just nice and easy. Continue to let your breath go deeper. And on your next inhale, reach the arms up overhead, elongation stretch. And as you exhale, soften surrender one final time bend your knees or hug them into your heart and gently roll off to your right side pausing here for a moment keeping your eyes closed if you can make your way up to an easy seated pose Hands will meet in prayer in front of your heart. Shoulders away from the ears, crown lifting you tall. And just enjoy how your body feels in this moment. Repeat to yourself, I can do hard things with grace and ease. Take a moment of gratitude for your body, your breath, and this practice. Bow your brain, sealing everything in. And namaste. Thank you so much for taking this time to practice with me on your mat. I hope you are feeling good and you enjoyed yourself. I will see you in the next class. Thank you so much.